So this is all the tin soldier stuff. I crazily overspent probably on this. My friends are even giving me shit about it, saying, God damn, you're just spending $50,000 on that car. But the thing is, this is really good quality stuff, and I'm going to have all the adjustments I need. And moving forward, it's just a good move. It is very expensive, and it's a lot of work. But I, this is what needs to be done to get where I want to go. So break it down, show you guys what this all is, and then I'll show you where where all this stuff goes in the rear of the car. And then I'm gonna continue practicing welding. As you can see, I got a bunch of welding stuff over here. It's because I wanna make, see that some of those welds I did were pretty good. Those, not so much. But I think I was actually running out of gas there anyway. So here's the deal. I got the chassis brackets, the rear end brackets, the shock mounts, the bars, the anti-roll bar, and the conversion kit. So what I mean by the conversion kit, if you watch the video on Tin Soldier's website, these are the regular parallel four link brackets. They are exactly the same length. So with that, they, they say that you need a higher horsepower car or even like a slick car would work really good with that. But obviously my car is not considered high horsepower in today's world. It's about a thousand horsepower right now, but I plan on moving up and probably going to be more than that by the end of next year. I definitely going to be more than that by the end of the next year. So I wanted to build for the future. So they said that they have a set of brackets that aren't those. They're basically this, but the upper mounts, actually this is the upper mount. Sorry, that it actually goes like this in the car. So that that's the top. And then down there by the tape is the bottom. And this part of it comes out and shortens the upper bar. And what that accomplishes is it makes things, your rear end, work a lot faster. It takes the hit faster and it pushes, it actually pushes your instant center further up in the car, I believe, and a lot longer. Correct me if I'm saying that wrong, but it makes it a lot longer. I know that for sure, which helps the lower horsepower cars plant the tire and separate the car and go down the track better. Hopefully I said all that right. But what they also say though, is if with a higher horsepower car, you don't really need these conversion brackets because the, the horsepower gets you where you need to go. Well, with my car being that lower horsepower, I got these because they say not only what I just said, but also they're better on lower prep surfaces, which I'm not running like no prep surfaces, but a lot of the tracks that I go to, if you guys have watched the videos, they aren't like strictly radial prep tracks like a lot of the tracks like down south and shit those guys are running on really really good prep track for a radial tire i don't have the luxury of that as much right now eventually i'm gonna have the luxury because i'm gonna start traveling around all these tracks but for now i don't and that's why these brackets are gonna help me a ton so basically what they do is they mount like that so on that upper mount See how those holes line up. So they'll mount like that in the car. And then obviously the bar is gonna be a, that much shorter from there to there. When I start overpowering these brackets, I can just take them off, buy two more bars, cut it for the length of this bracket. And then all I have to do is just switch out the bars. And if I ever go to a track that has lower prep and I know what settings I want those bars at, then I can just switch them out in and out so it's it's really just customizable and i can do best of both worlds instead of just buying one bracket then eventually having to go and buy these brackets and change my bar setup and all that so it's just really planning for the future is what i was trying to accomplish there that's the reason for that um and then obviously the rear end brackets those are the same no matter what you're doing and then the anti-roll bar that's going to be an interesting mount but uh let me, let me raise the car up here and I'll show you where all this stuff is going to go, where I'm hoping it's going to go. Kind of mock up this with the length. And then, yeah, I'll give you guys a better idea. So let's take, I got the car lifted up now. Let's take this thing and you'll see. I feel like this is pretty obvious, but maybe some of you guys want to see it in, anyway. So obviously this is the rear end bracket and it'll go somewhere in there like that. And... The only unfortunate part is either I cut the ends of my rear end off or I cut this bracket right there 
and then piece it back together and weld it. I think I'm gonna cut the bracket. I don't really see any problem with that. You're gonna put a freaking C-seam weld all the way around that, probably on both sides if I can. Well, I guess I'll only be able to do one. So anyway, you get the idea. So that, but that bracket will go somewhere in here, wherever it fits for this bracket going across. And these brackets, along with that conversion bracket, will end up going somewhere in that vicinity, I imagine, because we're gonna weld a bar probably from here over to that frame rail, and then this is gonna mount to that. So obviously, unfortunately, this is gonna have to come out. So I have to do a little cutting, and then we'll get those bars set in there, and the brackets all welded on and then also have to relocate my shock mount up higher so there's gonna be a little hole cut in there a whole mess of stuff is gonna have to get fabricated up but that's what i'm practicing this welding for so i can do all that and it won't look like shit. another thing i want to look at is this is 18 to 20 inches between the front bracket to the housing bracket this bar from hole to hole will have to be that length all right, so that one is quite a bit longer. So 18, 20 inches is about like right there. And there's the end. So we're gonna have to cut those down, which is good. I think that, bar, there we go. That bar itself is 18 inches. So let's go put that up to see where that falls. Okay, so it'll be a little bit shorter than my current bar. It'll be about like right in there. So right on the front of that bracket, that existing bracket will be, well, a little shorter than that even actually, just barely. About a quarter inch shorter than that bracket. So those, that bracket will sit right here. That ain't too bad. And the upper bar will be quite a bit shorter, kind of like that. So it'll, I imagine the, the bars will probably end up being like right in here. What I just noticed is that housing comes out all the way to here. And obviously you can't weld those brackets to the, that housing. So it'd have to be all the way out here. So that might make it a little interesting with this frame rail. But anyway, that gives you an idea what we have in store. A lot of fabricating, a lot of fitting and probably a lot of issues ahead uh, but I just wanted to update you guys with all the stuff I got and what we're moving forward with I've got like a new series in mind to do this winter just to keep not only the the work I'm gonna do on this car make videos of all of that but also a side series that I'm gonna call a series of stupidity <laughs> it's gonna be some stupid stuff but hopefully in a twist of learning things and if you guys watched the short that I posted a couple days ago with those balloons, that's going to be part of it. But I'm going to keep it running for now to do a couple videos. And then after this weekend, then I'm going to start tearing that thing apart. And I'm going to take you guys along with me a favor and subscribe to the channel. So then all these videos that are coming up, you guys will see pop up in your news feed and you can see what's going on with it and how I'm moving forward and getting all this fabrication done. So next year we can go really out and kick some ass is what... It's what the idea is anyway, but I'm going to make it happen for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back next week. See what we tear up. I'll see you later.